Oh, so much work. Mechanical, meaningless, dead end, so crushing work. If only I had time to do what I love, I would give anything, anything, anything. You must stay at home. So stay at home. Stay at home. Stay home. Stay home. Stay at 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 home. Wow. I have a whole month in isolation to concentrate, to create. Time has stopped for me to work. But since I have so much free time now, I think just starting with a little bit of angry birds is not going to be the end of the world. Three weeks later. Grandmas aren't real. Hi, I placed an auto response chip in my brain so I can spend time with my family. But oh. you are spending time with your family. Thank you for talking to Rick. You disgust me. Look at this. This is your sad reality now, isn't it, you sad clown? You're not even trying to accomplish excuse tasks anymore, like clearing your email inbox. Well, flash news, if you haven't cleared your email inbox by now, you never will. This is not who you are. You had dreams, you had ambitions, remember? Don't you understand what's happening here? This is your chance. Now tell me, what's the one thing you always wanted to have time to do? Oh my god, I have so many things. Learning to play the piano well, learning to play guitar well, organizing all my digital files, launching a blog, starting an acting for camera course, launching an online public speaking... Oh my god, there we go. Pick one. Uh, uh, I, I, I can't. Pick one. Oh, well, I have this book about procrastination that I wrote and I never told anyone about it. Typical. And when did you write it? June. June 2019. <laughs> I did it to sell it as merch at the Edinburgh Fringe. Oh, yeah. I remember those days. I want to see some photos. Yeah, I'm gonna... No, don't do that! Launch the book! Yes, all of this is correct. And it's exactly how it happened. I did write a book about procrastination 10 months ago. And I procrastinated for 10 months to let the world know it exists. And if you can identify at all with the situation, you're gonna love the book. And if you don't identify, you're gonna love reading the book while smiling with a smug sense of superiority. Always a win. Disclaimer. This is not a learn a new skill during quarantine's lazy pitch. This book is not trying to teach you how to be more productive in quarantine. I mean, look at me. It took me two weeks to even publish this video since I first started recording it. Who am I to teach anyone anything about beating procrastination? This book is about procrastination and it's based on my comedy show about procrastination. It's designed to entertain you, not to lecture you. I've even illustrated it myself. Look. Plus, let's face it, this is not a pandemic thing. You've been acquainted with procrastination habits way before the lockdown. So if anything, this may help you learn that you're not as bad as you thought you were. Or that you're not alone, which always makes us feel a bit better about ourselves. Or maybe you'll relate so much that you'll cringe, which may lead to being the ultimate shock of reality you need to start being productive with your time. <laughs> This book cannot be considered legal, medical, or psychological advice. For legal, medical, or psychological advice in quarantine, just watch hours of TV or tons of YouTube videos. Great idea. God damn it.